Hello, 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 everybody. All right, now I'm going to give you the part two to graphing an equation in slope intercept form. All right, look at this particular example. Once again, we know slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. But as you can see, it's not in that form. So that means we need to solve for y first. Remember what we did in class when we were doing literal equations? The variable you're trying to solve for, circle that. That means you're not going to touch it. And if you want, you can use sad map. Remember, s represents subtraction. Is there anything I can subtract on both sides to get y by itself? Yep, I can subtract 4x on both sides. As we know, 8 and 4x are not like terms, so you can write what you see. Bring down your 2y. All right, a represents adding. Nope, there's nothing to add. D is for dividing. Yep, we can divide everything by 2. So now I have y equals 4 minus 2x. All right, once again, our goal is to get it into y equals mx plus b form. So I'm just going to switch that negative 2x and 4 so it looks like it's in that same form. All right, now on to graphing. My y-intercept is 4, so I'm going to go to my graph on the y-axis and plot the point on 4. My slope is negative 2. Remember, when it's a number by itself, it's technically that number over 1. So I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Down 1, 2, and over to the right, 1. And then I'll draw my dot and connect the two. And that's it. 